Welcome to another episode of NFT Art Galaxy Creator Series with Dale Forward. I believe this is episode five, man. We are making a lot of progress here. What's going <laughs> yeah. on, Dale? Oh, uh, you know, all the things. Um, and never enough sometimes. <laughs> like, so heaps of things. So um, I made a generative art project. Um, I'll talk about that a little bit. I've, uh, I was looking into Discord coding uh, because of that. And then as we're looking here, I was making a, um, an interactive gallery as well as just like building my headspace around like what type of art I want to create long term. And so, um, yeah, so this piece that we're looking at right now is right, is um, I was working with a guy who's sort of known in the algo space a bit more now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, uh, oh, yeah. Let me. I'll just explain this real quick. So, this is meant to be um like a really quick, really quick test of a gallery exhibition that I wanted to see. Where basically, like, I have a really detailed piece on the ground. Um, that's one of my artworks, and then you can go up a second level, and there'll be like glass above it, so that you can see it from further away. So that like when you're on the ground, you can see all the little details and then you can walk up again and um, and see the details from above. So um, obviously, yeah, this was made really quickly because like those stairs don't look like stairs and like all that. It doesn't really look real and stuff because um, this was only made in maybe like 20 or 30 minutes sort of thing. Um, Pretty darn good I'm for saying, 30 minutes. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, like... Um, I'm planning on making a heaps high quality one with like, you know, a castle and stuff. So I'm planning at the moment, all the different things you can, um, because this uses the same program that I use uh, to make my 3D like uh, artworks. So I know this program really well compared to a lot of other people. So like the guy that um, hooked me up with this was called Tim Ong, I think it is. Yep. And I think, you know, yeah, you've seen him in spaces. He's really cool. He, um, he was showing me, like, just all the basics. Oh, yeah, there you go. There, you've fallen off. Oh, man. That was fun. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so he's just been showing me the basic stuff of this. Um, and it is on Ether at the moment, this sort of stuff. But what I've basically done with it is that, say, you going on there won't know that it's on Ether uh, because eventually I'll link it up so that when you're looking at a picture, It'll go to the RAN gallery link um, or, you know, another link. So a lot of this other stuff that's on there was just from the pre-made package. So it's all just sort of like trash or whatever. Like, it's just like, oh, this is how you do this thing and, and all that. But yeah, so um, it, it was just made really quickly. But so um, nice. I'd love to, yeah, make like, make little gallery exhibitions for say, if there's a shuffle coming up so you can see all the things that are in it um making like more events and stuff too like so say like i don't know if it can be implemented yet because all this stuff's still so new but um like my brother's a musician and he does um like live music heaps of times so i could like have a gallery release uh and then like i could invite my brother in to play music while we're all hanging out there and stuff like that That's something like that uh, yeah it could be lots of fun um so i've been yeah really focused on this um just last night and like um mostly yesterday just figuring it all out um there's a lot of pixels and stuff in there do stuff so i could make it so that i could have a little character of me in there and then you can walk up and like ask it questions or something like that i think like i don't know the limitations yet but say like you know you could walk up and there's like 10 different questions you could ask me, like, you know, where's, where does my inspiration come from? What do I use to make it? And you can click those and then not answer the questions, which would be kind of yeah. cool. I think galleries are pretty hot these days. I think people, people are starting to, to, to like the galleries and want to explore them more. I, I know I want to buy an Oculus so I can go check out some, some galleries too and do it yeah. in a different fashion. Cause that's how you get the full, full effect. I think. Oh yeah, yeah. Because I checked out the um the Bean Gallery with the Quest Two, and um yeah, it's pretty dope. I would definitely check out getting a Quest Two, man. Like, it's not bad, eh? For the price and stuff, where 
it is sort of just like buying a game console, but it's completely different technology. Yeah. I heard it's the best, yeah. it was the best selling gift this holiday season. So, yeah. No, well, like, I, I spent the, the sales from the first NFTs that I sold, I spent on that. Like, cause it, and it, it was a good buy. I was pretty happy with it. But, um, but yeah, so I've been focusing on this, but also, yeah, like, I'm still making my general Algo God artworks um, because the idea is that I'm wanting to make a really big piece, which is going to be the ground floor. Um, and so I've been like combining artworks together to make really high resolution pieces. Um, but now like um, I'm wanting to make a really big piece that's got heaps of detail. Um, and so, yeah, I don't know. It's just hopefully going to be a huge piece. That's the guy as well, yeah, Tim there that you've got on the screen. He's the guy that's been helping me out. So like people should check his stuff out. He's an architect. Um, but yeah, so say like with that piece there, it'd be similar to that, but even more detailed so that you can like zoom in even further. So that say you look at um, a character's face and it's got a whole world in there as well. Um, and so, yeah, like that's my sort of plan at the moment is like building building that up, building high quality artworks because something that I was sort of realizing is that uh, I'm like sort of splitting myself in two in a way a little bit with my art lately where it's um I'm doing like faster art where it's still high quality and stuff and still refined, but it's just um, a bit faster than what I would like really like to release in like a slow sort of thing. Um, and then I do have my God squads as well at the moment that are on the screen. So that's all like the generative art. And um, yeah, I'll talk about those for a sec then. So like um, I've only released a few of these, maybe like 30 or something. It's, um, it's a collection of originally 888, but then slowly they've been like, I've been killing them off um, because it's meant to be that they're in this sort of deadly like world and stuff and so they'd be um like i'd be um using discord where this is where the big issue comes about right because the plan was that i'd be using discord to create like some events and some fights and maybe like the original idea is choose your own adventures as well mm -hmm. so that you'd go on and answer a bunch of questions and it'd be like a little mini choose your own adventure and then you'd get an award based on the um, choices that you had um, but where I'm at basically is I was doing a lot of research yesterday and trying out a lot of tutorials and the tutorials online are pretty rubbish. Like you only need to get them slightly out of date and they just won't work, which really sucks. So my plan at the moment is, well, I've sort of got like, I was going to maybe like half abandon the project in a way because I was sort of thinking I can't make the discord bots. And uh, like, obviously that's where I sort of think the value will come from is the interactivity. But right. I think it was a bit too quick on the buzzer. I was talking to some of my followers and stuff and they were just saying, look, be patient, maybe hit up some other devs and everything. There might be some people that can help you get some basic stuff together. Yeah. So um, yeah, so I'm just sort of thinking, yeah, all right. I might just wait it out a little bit more and then um, I'll like, I'll ask a dev in time to help like develop some really basic stuff um, mm -hmm. because I do still believe in the project and I'm glad I, I've only released a few so far just so that it's not like this major pressure like and all my followers that I've talked to this is something that I've, I was thinking last night that I really appreciate is that um, they like understand me they understand where my head's at they understand what I'm trying to do they know I'm experimental and like um, that's like the artist that I am and yeah, I was talking to how I make an NFT where um yeah, he's, got, he's got a bot in his. <clears throat> yeah, so I bought one of his bots, like the Verify bot. Um, and I think a, a big issue at the moment with trying to get devs is they're usually working on another project. So like they're busy and stuff as they are. Like, so um, I'll try and mock up what I want to happen um, and I'll just start talking to more people and I'll just be more patient with myself rather than thinking, oh, if I can't do it, then it can never happen. I'll just make sure that I'm really clear about what I want. And then um, I'll just try and get it out there into the ether and start talking to devs and seeing what they can do. 
because there's a lot of great devs out there but yeah it's just like they're busy sort of thing you know what i mean oh. like but um but yeah so like at the moment yeah i'm just trying to focus on um like i'll put the discord bots on a bit of a pause for the moment and just kind of see what happens um just for like maybe the next few weeks or something i don't know yeah. i'll still keep in touch with people and i might not release any more god squads until i have something to share um just because like it's like how a lot of people have been talking about um if the releasing like an asa or a coin um make sure it already has um purpose and utility before you release it and i think that's something that like some people were a bit half and half about with say nfts like if you're going to have utility you might not need it like uh, because you know there's the element of buying it for the art but um i think for me you know like as much as i love these pieces the other element was the utility and it's just not like right you know i've, I've learned from that where i'm thinking yeah definitely just release the full project as it is and um that's where now i'm like you know i've taken a step back a little bit and seen what i've made and seen my strengths and like um, these can have a lot of potential for um, for like interactivity and stuff, but if I'm not able to implement it, it's going to take it a lot longer. And so I'm kind of just going to have to get a dev in to sort of sort something out, which isn't okay. going to be an issue, but yeah, it's just sort of is how it is at the moment. And so as everybody knew, like this was an experimental project. And so um, like, you know, in a way I'm kind of trying to pave like, a path for future people and once i can get um like the template for a choose your own adventure then i can share that around and stuff too and say like hey yeah use this yourself like make a story right. and stuff let let's see what other people can make too um because you know like i'm not all like the best at everything in this and like i'd like rather share the technology and see what other people can come up with and like um like I know that my art's strong, but you know, like my writing and my technology and stuff could always be stronger, which is why I'd, I'd love to get the community involved in that. And like, I'd love say people, you know, like what's the point or something, or say hamburger pimp to come in and help write a little choose your own adventure quest. Yeah. And um, then like, like then I can get people to come in and read their stories and then that can promote their stuff. And it just, it adds more to it. It becomes more community based. Um, but that's where, yeah, like I'm now sort of backtracking where my heart is mostly just in my Algo God series okay. where I'm going to try and make, um, like there's two major things that I'll be making with those where there's the really high quality pieces where um, I've shared them before where there's like the whole armies and stuff. And then there's just the, um, the singular artworks themselves to say shuffles. So trying to get maybe 20 in a week or something released um stuff like that so that um i can get stuff out there oh sorry nice man but yeah yeah so like i think that um yeah my headspace has gotten better too with all of this like i realized that my strengths lie in making high quality art and um and as well that my project will probably grow um, a fair bit slower than some of the other like PFP generative art projects. But um, when I still feel like, you know, people are respecting my stuff, they're obviously still buying them. Like my recent shuffle sold out, which is nice and like quite quickly, maybe two or three hours or something. Mm -hmm. And so um, people are still picking up my stuff. Um, but yeah, um, and I, was, I saw, um, hands from algo hands was talking in a, a place the other day where he was saying that yeah like really just sticking with it and just keeping building not getting too hung up on about how other people are progressing and stuff and just like building your project eventually it will mm -hmm. grow and like and i can see the growth and stuff with it um but I picked, yeah i picked so, this like, guy up i liked him this was your first yeah. first hand drawn Algo God, I was like, oh my goodness. Yeah. I thought it was pretty cool. So I was yeah, like, I, I think it was, yeah, it turned out really nice. I thought, like, because I haven't drawn like for a project for so long. And, um, and like from the skills that I've picked up from making my Algo Gods, like, 
you know, like editing the colors and stuff and uh, making it look a bit more um, like gener generated too. It's um, I'm really happy with how it came out. And yeah, like, thanks for picking that up because, you know, sometimes when you're releasing new experimental stuff, you never know how it's going to go. And like, I think it's a different experience for you where it's like the artwork that you're releasing isn't your own. So like um, you like, it's, yeah, it's a different experience, I think, because there's not that attachment to it where you haven't like sort of been there at its birth, you right. know? And so, and like with me, it's like, I see each one of those pieces and like there's some that I know there'll be certain people that will really like it. And there's others where like, cause you get a feeling inside of you, you know, like where I see like, when I look at a piece, I can feel something about it. And so um, over the years, I've gotten better at learning what those feelings are and um, then how it's going to be felt by others. And so like with those new pieces, those feelings are so new that I don't even really know how it feels and what, what's going to happen with it. But now um, with say my shuffle pieces, I, I'm so used to that feeling where I'm like, yep, yeah, okay, this feels like the right one. This feels right. And if it feels off, I tend to know like how it kind of goes. But yeah. Um, yeah. So it's been, um, it's been a good last, like maybe a few like little weeks and stuff. Um, like I still definitely feel like it's early days with everything still. Oh, definitely. Um, Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. And I think, yeah. Sorry, you go. No, I was going to say, people, people know you, obviously, as a, you know, a creator, authentic artist. Um, past couple of weeks, we've been having a lot of uh, different shenanigans going on with different projects that were just kind of doing art based off of other people's things and yeah. ghosting people. And I mean, you know, people, people know who you are. They know your process. They know you're here to stay. They know you're in it for the, the long haul because you're, you're an artist, <laughs> right? Yeah. So yeah. that, I mean, I, I think from that standpoint alone, there's a deeper appreciation of of watching you grow and experiment and do different things. I think people are excited. Like I'm excited about your your other um, project as well, the God Squad. You know, I, I was yeah. lucky. I got I got the number one in in the in the shuffle. I was ecstatic. <laughs> Uh, you know, I don't, you know, I would love to have a utility, but I don't, I don't need it necessarily right now at, at this moment. Cause it's not like I'm going to go run and jump in there just cause it's just only so much time in a day. So, you know, for me, yeah. it, start, it starts with the art, but then, you know, the utility is also fun for community. Yeah. Growth. Yeah. And I think too, like once the utility is there, whenever it happens, I can then bring it back into the, the algo gods as well. Right. Which um could then be a really interesting thing, like just having some interactivity, like um, you know, even writing an extra story or something for each character, or like where you can put them into events and stuff. Like one of the other things that I was thinking is that um, you know, maybe it, you can just it can attend something. So like you attend like the first ever event and stuff, and then when you attend that, you get an award. Um, and then that's marked on the NFT. Um, oh, yeah, if you want, you can check out the high resolution of that. If you click on the tweet, uh, I'm on the link. And then, so this is probably the biggest piece that I've made. I think I was talking about this a while back with one of the last, pro, like the last videos, where if you zoom in heaps, each one of those pictures um, is a full algo god as well. And so now this is like a, a nice giant piece um, that's going on here where um, I'd want this to be maybe like the resolution of the big piece that I'm making. I don't know if it'll be able to be um, just because it is so big. Um, but having this sort of level of detail where like there's pictures inside pictures and stuff like that. Um, that's the sort of the goal that I'm sort of thinking for the future um where it's just like epic pieces you know that's and, wild. Um, yeah no nah, it's a lot of fun like and yeah like
but that's a, another part of what I like about the community too with the God squads is that something that I found really good about this, at least for the, the people that follow my work and that are like vocal and interested in my stuff is that like, cause a part of me was thinking, oh, you know, if I'm giving up this project, then I should be like, uh, not like giving up, but that it might take ages and I don't want people to feel like they were ripped off and stuff. Mm-hmm. that maybe I'll like give them, give them an extra algo god or something or say where there was um so like because I'm trying to be fair right you know and there was um the other case where I had my shuffles that were at 100 algo and then I sort of realized hmm maybe I should go back to 50 it's a little bit more accessible and I noticed that they flew a whole lot faster mm-hmm. but um the people that bought it at 100 at least the ones that I was communicating with, like they were like, Hey, no, like I was just born. You're right. Like, you know, I, I like encourage all your decisions and stuff. And the thing that I think that, um, I really value in the community that the people that have communicated with is like that when I'm trying to be fair and like, I'm trying to like connect with them that they're not trying to rip me off, you know, from that, they're not trying to take advantage of that. They're like, nah, man, like, you know, I'm fully embracing of your decisions and stuff. And I think that can be um, a rare thing in a community, like just in in art or in general in business. And so um, it's something that I'm really appreciating and it takes the load off my back a whole lot more because it means that like, if people are like that, then I will end up taking a few more like positive risks and they'll right. end up getting like a, a better positive in the long run from it. It just means maybe in the short term, it's just a little bit more annoying, but it's not a huge deal. Like, um, because yeah, like, and I don't know if that's like purely just my followers. I know that for other people in the algo community, there's a lot of support, but, um, but it doesn't feel like generally there's people taking advantage of others. Like, um, in those situations i know that it does happen as well but you know it feels like nine times out of ten or even more that anybody that um is trying to like act fair they're um they're like yeah no this is it's fine also this piece real quick so i do have um a guy that's been hitting me up for little commissions now and then like just one guy i haven't made it public for commissions because Right. Um, you know, I did talk about it and, but nobody else has really hit me up about it, even though people seem to be okay with it. And so, um, he's a really big supporter of my art where, um, he, he's like paying a whole lot more than mint price, which is always good. Like, um, and he's like asking just for some more, like slightly custom piece, like pieces. So more art based, um, where like, it's like maybe inspired by famous artists and yeah. stuff like that. And like so it's it. been a really good thing. Yeah. Because as an artist, um, having a project, like having someone that wants to buy your artwork before you even have made it is huge. And like, um, I didn't want to sort of turn them down because I wanted to like, that, that that's a huge thing, you know, like to be able to, have someone just be like yep here's money for you and like obviously like they pay it after I've made it and like but still it's like right. to have someone there that wants to buy something from you before it's even made is huge for an artist like that's the dream where you know it, like to say if I was to have a shuffle of 50 and then already everybody like I know that it's going to sell out that's a, a crazy thing to even think as an artist like because, you know, when you're growing up, it's you make the art first, then you find the buyer. But, um, right. yeah, so that's been oh, a that's really great. huge thing for me. Yeah, like, and it, it just, it makes it feel safer too to be in this space where, like, it doesn't always feel risky to release an artwork and think, oh, my God, is this going to sell? You know, I at least have some people where, like, they're like, yeah, man, like, I love your stuff. I want to buy some pieces from you. And um, yeah, it's been really, it's really good. And like, obviously there's a, it takes a bit of time sometimes to make commission pieces because then I also want to do my shuffles. Right. So I'm still like, you always got to find the balance of that. But um, but yeah, like long-term as well, like it freshens things up too a little bit. So obviously this doesn't really have a God so much in it, 
But the Algo Gods collection is so broad. It's meant to be um, that, yes, it does usually contain like big monstrous creatures or whatever or gods, but it is yeah. also a reflection of my journey as an artist. And if you look deep in there, you can find other little weird ones. Like I've made ones for Yieldly, you know, I've made like mm -hmm. um, little projects where you wouldn't maybe call it gods, but more just the experiences in this world. Well, and um well they're in there so they're this, just sleeping. that piece there is starry night yeah the gods are in there yeah. just, they're just sleeping yeah, in the house yeah, exactly you can't, you can't see them but yeah it's yeah. yeah and so yeah like and that's where um i'm really like happy with how this has been put together because i'm really starting to see the journey that i've been on like all the wacky stuff that's happened over the time um where it's definitely like i can see an improvement but also like the experimentation and stuff with everything as well like this for me um like because i've always wanted to as an artist before this have like a collection where you could see my journey over time and it's so hard to put it into a proper collection not only like just having a collection but like having it as like a respected and understood. Right collection like where people are like oh yeah that's like that's the collection of this person's artworks and stuff like um and so having it as like this algo god one where you can go to number one and it's like high quality but it's different to what say number 200 is you know and um and so you can see all the things that i've explored where like it's like as probably true of a history as it could get like ignoring that I was an artist all the time before this, like it sort of just started at a good point. And um, then now it's just been like me exploring it all. Like, cause I make the, um, the NFT, like the HTML NFT is like the interactive pages one where I've got the hundred um, at a time. So I've, I've released like number 200 and I released that at auction. And one of my big um, followers, Eric, um, Kren Krensky, I can't remember his last name, but he's a huge supporter of me. Um, and he's amazing. Like, and so he picked that piece up. And looking at those, um, the packs of a hundred, it's always like a huge nostalgia moment. Like it's, for me, it's always like a really awesome moment, like to go and look back at all the stuff I've done over maybe yeah. like the last two months. And each piece is meaningful for me. Like each piece I'm like oh yeah I remember the story from that like and when this happened and like oh that was because of this and like so I'm really happy that I ended up like making those pieces because I hope to make them for every hundred or so and then um obviously too the ones with the big frames around them where they're sort of like the same thing where they contain like yeah. 36 pieces of the recent pieces that I've made and I don't know, man, like this, um, it's really starting to build like, and maybe not so much in terms of like floor price and stuff, um, but in just the collection as a whole and the, the followers that are here, like that are wanting my pieces and yeah. like my art and just even like my understanding of the NFT community and my art has improved so much since the start of this. And like, something I've realized that it might be like a while until my floor price like actually goes up because people are interacting with my stuff heaps differently to some of the other projects here. Like a yeah. lot more people are wanting the shuffle. They're wanting to buy that sort of stuff rather than um, I think seeing it more as an investment where that's what some of the people are doing like in other projects. I think some people definitely see it as an investment, but it's a longer term one compared to the um the pfps where it's a bit faster and keep, i think yeah, yeah. Well, i'm saying you keep well, putting them out too so there's also there's also supply and then you yeah know, you had the and, shuffle at 50 you moved it to 100 which you still yeah. obviously had people buying it and now it's back to 50 so it'll work itself yeah. out but you have yeah. the demand there which is which is great um, well i think a big part of it too is that my artwork has a lot of range compared to some of the other pfp projects where it's basically the same character, but with different hats. And so you either like the character or you don't. And so you'll buy it and you'll be happy with whatever. 
But with Mayan, there's such a range where maybe you don't like the gun pieces. Maybe you like the ones with the gods and stuff. Or maybe you don't like the ones with certain gods. And so there's a bit more choice about how you're buying. So when people are buying, they're buying like the artwork much more like in their choice rather than just anything, you know, from that collection. So there's a, it's a different experience, I think. And then, yeah, and then we've got this piece, this, which I'm actually really happy with. Like, um, um, I'm very excited about it. I, I'm really excited that. So this is a, for those that know, this is, this is the TLOP community collab contest and auction and uh so basically there's six different prompts of of tom's work and then from there you kind of can make your own creation and, and 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 dale i mean you just nailed it with that i mean that's pretty I really pretty really awesome feel it, man. like i just if i was going to come in here i was like yeah i want to go guns blazing a little bit like let's let's rock it like and i saw the girl and i was like oh yeah because you could change that into like some robot and then because I've been working with scale a whole lot more lately, I thought, yeah, let's put some like tiny guys in there. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, and I thought, yeah, we could punch the cunt, like the colors up a whole lot more, make it all sci-fi and stuff. And I don't know, man, I've just been like feeling good about how I'm making my art lately. Like it's just been coming out heaps nicer. And I 100% reckon it's just because I've been smashing out artworks mm -hmm. constantly. And because I've been smashing them out, man, you like, you um you get real good at just getting the basics in there for each piece that make it look nice and then all you need to do is slow down slightly love the process um and embrace all the good feelings for when you're creating the piece and you'll come out with some amazing pieces i think like it's just um like i'm really happy with this and how it's turned out like and i never know if it's going to go well obviously with the the um actual competition like so I've been in heaps of competitions and sometimes the things that you don't expect happen, I'd love to win it, like, or, you know, come in a certain place just because, you know, I am proud of that piece and I love what you're doing, but it's look, Hey man, I'm just happy that I made a great artwork and yeah. that, like, you know, people I, like it. I love it. I love it. Yeah. So we'll be voting on the starting on the 21st of this month, February. So, yeah, right. but it, sometimes it is a popularity contest too. So I don't want it to be that way, but, um, you know, I know when yeah. Gecko has his, uh, his Gecko, uh, beauty contest for the geckos, you know, I get, yeah. get a bunch of DMS, like hit me up, hit me up like mine, like mine, you know? So, uh, yeah. um, yeah, you know, that's, that's and, definitely yeah. what I'm not going for. And I mean, this is definitely a, a choice piece. So I love yeah, it. Yeah. No, thank you, man. Yeah. And like, I've, you know i like to retweet my stuff and say hey if you can like it and stuff but yeah i'm never really one to push much on those competitions like personally i i love not telling people about it and seeing reactions of everybody that doesn't know my work like i'd much rather get like an honest vote from every person and like um i'd always sort of do that actually with like local exhibitions and stuff um and markets when i'd be around here where like it, it kind of could be bad, but I never usually promote it very much just because like, I love seeing what other people bring in and like meeting all right. their people. Um, and it can kind of suck sometimes. So like I do burlesque and stuff, right. Where, um, I, you know, like I'll go up on stage and, you know, take my clothes off in front of people. And it's a great time. <laughs> Highly recommend it. You got to do it once in your life. It's so good. And, um, I did an <laughs> event once and it was like, so maybe like 10 performers, and me and a girl like that I know, um, we were performing and we like brought maybe half the crowd there, you know, because we just knew all the people that'd be interested. And so then it kind of got to the point where the next one, we didn't really um, go in it. And so then, yeah, there was heaps less tickets and stuff. And so it's sort of, it can yeah. suck sometimes. Like if you're promoting and, things aren't going as well but I guess I you know I say that and then I say that I didn't I don't really like to promote the other markets and stuff but it's good though sometimes just having like other people that don't know any of your work and that being most of the people there like yeah it's a different experience when it's just all your mates at a market stall of yours right it's like maybe it's different in the nft space because a lot more people are open to buying stuff and everything but at a market stall it's like 
it's less people that are happy to spend. They just will come for the support and to be there. But I don't know, man. Like, yeah, it's yeah. like promotion is an interesting thing now and then. Well, you need eyeballs, definitely. Definitely, you definitely want yeah. eyeballs, but you also want fresh eyeballs, and you also want eyeballs that 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 like what you're doing. So, yeah, and I guess <laughs> it, we're slaves to the algorithm at the moment. So, like, I kind of right. need to get likes and stuff. So, I'm trying to bring more people in and stuff to like my stuff. But um, that's where at the moment, you know, I'm just cool. I'm trying to make that art that people want to promote and want to share around, like. And I'm learning so much. Like I've been really exploring with like, say the, the gun collection, right? I, I would like think that went really well. Um, but as well, it's like some people won't connect to certain pieces of it. And like some, right. it, and it just is how it is. Like I got maybe, um, I know two people at least that have commented where they love my art, but they don't like the guns being the main part of the artwork. Right, guns being a symbol, obviously, they're it's quite an intense symbol for some people, like, yeah, where um, they have no like issue with it, really. It's not like they're triggered and stuff, but it's kind of like I don't want the gun to be the focus. Well, this, this, yeah, they, they don't want that in their collection, or they're not going to be showing that off, probably. So, that's that's yeah, probably exactly, why, yeah. But they're not going to buy every piece of your work anyway. So it's not, you know, no, so, but it's, 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 it's good to have that feeling. You probably get more feedback and interaction now that you're also on telegram, which I think is a great move. Um, yeah. You know, yeah. good and bad, but you, you definitely get all of your fans will, will, will kind of migrate towards there. It's this discord's a little bit harder to have a conversation because there's yeah. just so many different rooms. <laughs> Yeah, because I'm basically using like Discord now and then just to talk to people, like say good day, and just more share my art purely on there, um, so that they can see every artwork in the collection, maybe, and if anything major, like if I'm doing an auction and stuff. But um, yeah, Telegram's definitely where I'm having my conversations with people and like saying, "Hey, what do you think about this?" Like, um, like I'm having an issue what do you think I should be doing? Like, what's your experiences? And there's been so many good people on there that have been given heaps of good support and um, like really helping me make decisions. And honestly, sometimes it's just good when they're just saying, nah, Dale, you're going good. Like, don't worry about it. You're just getting caught up in your own head. And like, yeah. that can be so beneficial sometimes. Like, because yeah, I definitely do get caught up in, um, in myself sometimes and I'm, i feel like i am getting better though with it all like my understanding of the nft space and my artworks and the type of collection i'm making like i'm not as lost now like and i'm trying to just basically strip back everything that's unnecessary um and which is like this week um my plan was that i'd be making a big artwork over the week but um what i've been finding is that i've just been ticking off everything else basically Mm -hmm. And so um, as much as like, you know, I want to do that and I've been planning for it, I've been like ticking every other little thing that I need to do. So now, now, like maybe it's just the next week I'll be doing that project, but it'll mean that I have no other obligations, which is where I want to be at. Like, I'd love to be able to um, have it that I just make 20 something artworks a week, maybe a big piece now and then. And then I can just like promote my work and sell it. And everybody's happy with that. And they're like, yes, this is the direction that we want it to go in. We're really happy with that. Um, so it's a nice, simple process. And, um, you know, I don't have to do anything crazy. I don't have to learn new skills, really. Like, right. I'll just naturally learn it. Like, I don't need to like go on YouTube tutorials and stuff. It's just like, I'm just making better art over the years. People are loving it. They're picking it up. I'm getting more like popularity, more followers and stuff. And it's just that nice natural growth. That's the sort of level that I'd love to be at in the future. And, um, Perfect. and yeah, like, so that's where, yeah, this week's just been ticking everything off, stripping everything down to the bare minimum so that I can sit down and just focus on making great art and connecting with people. Cause, um, yeah, like one other thing that I realized lately with like my nfts and just the nfts as a whole is that um it, on algo it's not about like 
it's it, well at the start it's about moving algo that's why people are on here you know they want more money honestly like mm -hmm. there's that's where you start here if, if you're not like you know maybe you're there for the technology as well if you're a developer but really you're here because money's moving right but then um what i realized lately is like i'm actually on here because i'm wanting to make a better life and i think that's where everybody's on here for and so for me, it's not so much now about trying to move as much algo as I can. It's about just trying to make a good life for myself. Like that's the end result really that I want. And right. the moving algo is like the in-between, the middleman sort of thing. And so um, I think that if I can just mo like move enough pieces where it's like maybe like a livable wage for that week for me, then I'm happy. I'm not trying to go for crazy numbers although I still will be ambitious and trying to push that. Right. But, um, but really though, if I can live a nice general life and like develop as a person and be able to as well help others through like my mental health space and through um, giving feedback on people's artworks and just my opinions, then that's, I guess, the kind of life I want to live, you know, like that's the sort of stuff that you'd be happy to grow old into. And like, um, I guess that's, that's where <clears throat> I'm at at the moment, what I want to, try and produce yeah so well i mean you could build yeah. that whole infrastructure it just it's just it just takes time i mean from early on you're yeah. saying well you know it's the programming it's this it's the utility i mean yeah. you know you got to focus what you're good on which is which is the art but then from there you can have this world so it could be you know an algal world right or an algal universe whatever um yeah. you know you can have you know t-shirts or prints or you, know, you can do all sorts of special things um yeah but I think, I think it all starts at the art. And I think that's what a lot of artists struggle with is they, they try to do too much too quick. And, uh, yeah. you know, I think all your ideas are great, but it's like, you just, there's so many things to do in a day and there's only so much time. So it's like, yeah. you know, I got to check this yeah. box, check this box, like, yeah. you know, but I think you focus on the art. I think everything else works itself out over, over time. So, well, yeah. Cause something that as well, like, that um i do and i've done this heaps over my life as an artist is that i'll do art and then i see that oh i could do this extra thing so i start to expand and maybe it's like i learn how to code like making an app or maybe i'm learning a new skill like making a movie or making music i start to expand i get so far out where i'm like oh my god this is heaps harder than what i thought i'm not making high quality pieces like i'm still learning heaps but then right. what happens is I like, I dip my toe huge in those areas and then I'm like, yep, okay, time to just swim back. And I come back to my pure art and it always ends up being just that little bit stronger, like more passionate and in love with because yeah. I, I think I need to do that. I need to go far out and then I return home and then home feels so much more familiar, like and right. then my art builds up. And so I would say over the, the lifetime of myself as an artist, even say with that metaverse gallery, you know, like I'm going to be exploring more stuff with that. That's going to be my playground for probably the next month or two. And so like, then I'll notice myself that I'm spreading myself too thin. I'll cut things out. And then when I return, it's going to right. just be only my strengths there. And I think that um, as an artist, you should do that. And just know that like you should know where your home is and know where your strengths are. So you can right. return to that and cut all the rubbish out now and then. Um, because yeah, it's easy to think that you need to do everything, but truly in the NFT space, at least with the digital art, it's about the art first. And if the art's good, everything else will be a whole lot easier. Right. And like, um, I and agree. honestly, yeah and sometimes your art might be the utility so then the the actual art might not need to be as good because right. the strength is in the utility or maybe it's the um the interactivity from the community and so i think just recognizing your strength and always trying to just lead with that like acknowledge your weaknesses but you don't need to lead with your weaknesses just showing those strengths and saying hey this is where i'm at if it's good and it's tapping into people then it'll go really well, I think. Because, yeah, I think it's easy to see that there's a lot of artists out there that um, they're trying to do it all at the same time. And it's like, no, 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 mate. Just look, 
just release three NFTs of high quality stuff. Doesn't need to be high quality art. Maybe it's just utility. Maybe it's because you're wanting to make something you want to do. Um, and then it can get picked up. But then uh-huh. there's the other side too of like being honest with yourself too. Like I can say all this because personally, I do know that I, I'm making nice quality artworks. Like I really right. do know like the, the people are connecting with it. But then I've made stuff that's trash. And like recently, you know, I can make some stuff that's trash. Um, well, maybe not trash. That's pretty harsh. But, you know, it's a little that's harsh, a little list. harsh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, a little, little harsh. No, but stuff that's not not to the level that maybe I'm sort of happy with sometimes. Right. And then like, then, but um, sometimes I might be not honest with myself and I'm like, no, that's good enough or whatever. And that's good. Like, that's all right. But it's like, no, I can't expect that to perform on the same level as that other stuff. And some others coming in, like maybe it's just because they can't see artwork the same as I, I do. I've been doing this my whole life. I can tell all the things I, you know, it's all sensory. It's all feeling based. And like, I can tell them where they're weak and where they're strong. And, and some people just can't see that. Right. But if you can be honest with yourself and say, yeah, maybe my artwork isn't as good as others. All right. So maybe like I need to look into what are my other strengths that I've got? Maybe I am just ambitious. Maybe like I know a little bit about coding. Maybe I can incorporate music and stuff. Maybe I want to work with others to do some things like just um, trying the the hardest part in life. But the best thing is to be honest with yourself. And I think that um, like it's really hard to do sometimes because sometimes you just can't see it all. Um, But to always attempt to be honest with yourself, that's when I think you can really improve because like for me, you know, I still see that like um, I, there's still areas for me to improve. Like I, I don't see each of these pieces being absolute peak yet. And I'm aiming for that. Like I'm gunning for that, you know, over the next 10 or however long years, I'm wanting it to be where you see each piece and they're consistently golden, like they're consistently high quality. Mm-hmm. And um, and because yeah, like even say on this um this group here that you've got shown here, there's some pieces that stand out more than others, but also there's like there's you know those two latest ones right down the bottom left, I uh, bottom right, they're a different style too. So it's harder to compare those to the other pieces, and so right. like it's um that's where like art is so hard to judge sometimes and um that's where i think artists it's hard for them to say if it's sort of good or not and that's where i i try and rely on the conventions of art and the um how it feels for me and that's where i think like people when they say make art for yourself yes there's the element of saying um like you know, make it for you because if you're making it for others, then you might just be disappointed if they don't like it. But I also reckon make it for you because you know how you feel when you look at it. And if you can make it look good for yourself um, and you feel good, then you know it's good in a way. Like right. it's good for at least one person. And so then we can spread that out. But yeah, I don't mean to keep this video going on for ages, but this is just all the stuff I've been thinking lately. No, I think and it's I- great. I think it's great. Yeah, like, uh, hopefully, like, um, three hundred. You got three hundred sales. So yeah, it's crazy. That means that means that 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 people do like your art. I'll have to say. <laughs> yeah, like it's hard. I'm not looking at the, the numbers spent. I'm looking at the the total sales. Yes, you have multiple people who bought multiple pieces, but so, but yeah, I, I think everything you're saying is true, and I think you know we'll probably leave it there, but. I think one thing that is is amazing about this space is that you can ask for assistance. You can ask people for a second opinion. You can ask Dale. You can go to his Telegram, hit him up, and and bounce ideas off of him and say, you know, this is what I'm doing. Does this make sense? Am I missing something? You know, how would you approach this? You know, just get feedback. You can't you can't do everything on your own. You you really can't. And no, you know, anybody that I, has a project out there. You know, they, yeah. they, and it's successful. They are embracing, you know, either a group of VIPs or, you know, their friends or other people that they, you know, purchase their art and then they become friends over. The, you just, you just need that. So I would definitely highly recommend Hang Up Dale, myself, 
and uh yeah. you know ask ask a question <laughs> yeah. we won't bite I had to do that man <laughs> i had to do that to get just where i'm at like you yeah. know but anyway <laughs> yeah no awesome video i think as always always love doing these man like they always really i think center where my head's at I always try and think um all right, what am I going to say to Rich? Like, am I doing anything that should be said in the video? <laughs> like, it yep. keeps me, like, on track, man. It's good. Like, I try and think of making milestones for the next video, which is, it's, yeah. Come a, come a long stuff. way. I remember when you made me an algo god. I was, I think I'm algo god 130, and now you're over 100 more algo gods. So, yeah, and you have a, yeah, and another crazy. collection. So, you're, I mean, you're definitely cranking out stuff and and headed in headed in the right direction. So, uh i guess guess we'll leave it there like it awesome, love it man. share it watch it again we will <laughs> definitely have dale back on to continue his creator series and again all his links will be below check them out check out the algo gods the god squad and everything else in the metaverse i can't wait to see <laughs> what happens with that i know we're saying don't expand yeah. too much but you know, I, I think you have to learn and you have to go out and, and do stuff, but just don't stretch yourself too thin, I believe is what you're alluding to. So, yeah, I think the gallery, though, I want to push. Yeah, a whole lot I think I think yeah. that's where we're headed. I might be getting myself an Oculus anyway. Yeah. Until next right. time. Thank you so much. Love you. Love you guys. And we will be back shortly.